Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here with another Blender 2.8 freebie. And this one is especially interesting for those of you wanting to create photoreal renderings and animations in Eevee. So the simple fact is, the workflow to create great materials for Eevee is difficult to say the least. If you want to do procedural textures, you need to have a university mathematics degree with a minor in computer science. Not to mention, many of the final textures look just too perfect. Personally, I can often spot poor procedural textures a mile away. They just look computery. So I've always relied on my trusty ability to use my smartphone and my favorite tiling software, PixPlant, to create real photo tileable textures. Nothing beats photos, period. We've all seen the super high quality textures like those on textures.com and elsewhere, which are beautiful and render photographically, but these need three and sometimes four different PBR files to create a single Blender material. They are superb for cycle renders, but the problem comes when you start to create many, many materials for your EV scene, each with 4K textures, and soon you're out of memory. I figured much of this out creating my best-selling Definitely EV Definitive Interiors course, a comprehensive set of lessons for new and experienced Blender 2.8 users on how to maximize your EV renders and animations. If you're interested, you should check it out over at Gumroad and Blender Market. What I've decided to do is go the 80-20 route. Let's get 80% there with 20% the effort. So what does this mean? Well, it means you can quickly roll your own materials using my custom material shader setup, and you only need a single tileable texture map. This one map can be used to create both the color channel, the roughness channel, and the bump map for the material. There are two secrets that make this trick work. One, being able to scale the color, roughness, and bump textures separately. This helps in creating non-repeating reflective patterns on the material. And two, being able to easily preview only those channels you want as they're rendered. This is different from Node Wrangler's control click in that you get to see the actual surface and how it behaves for only the property you're working with. I call this new material one shader to rule. The idea being you can use this single EV memory efficient material to create 80% of the materials you'll need in your scene. In fact, not only am I sharing the material shader with you, I'm also throwing in some very nice materials already set up, plus a short course on how to use the new material shader, and it's all for free. As usual, I'm giving it away at Gumroad. I do this for a number of reasons. The most important is that I can update the files as needed. So check it out over at Gumroad and come back and leave a comment here at YouTube. See you online.